Holy Spirit spoke to us today about the armor of God, about warfare, and about faith, and about the power of His Word, and about walking in these things, and having an understanding of these things so that when the enemy does come, that we know how to resist him. Yes. There is a voice that will whisper to you that tells you, okay, well, God wrote this down, so what? What does that mean? That's okay, right. he said this, well, so what? That's what right. is that going to do for you? You go to his word, I'm going to show you so what. Hallelujah. And you open up his word. The swords we've just learned today. Yes. And this is how you resist him. The 72 returned with joy and said, Lord, even the demons submit to us in your name. And he replied, Jesus replied, I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven, and I have given you authority to trample on snakes and scorpions and overcome all the power of the enemy. All Nothing will harm you. All of it. And however, do not rejoice if the Spirit submit to you, but rejoice that your names are written in heaven. Amen. So you speak. Hallelujah. And now you've resisted. So when a brother or a sister or a mother or a father or a friend comes against you or you've come against them and you've spoken incorrectly or they've spoken incorrectly, then you come back also with the word amen. and you speak in love and you speak in peace yes. and you humble yourself. Yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. And now you've just resisted the enemy. That's right. In your house or on the street, you speak this word. This is the application. Yes. Speak the word. Yes. Now, my daughter, who is powerful and victorious in Christ Jesus, has come to church today. Yes. Amen. Now, I'm going to tell you what the world has said about her. The world has said that she has cancer. The doctors have made a diagnosis. Now, I don't live in a fool's paradise, though this word seems foolish to the world. I live in the kingdom of God. Yes. And I speak it and I walk it because I want what he has for me, not what this world has for me. Amen. This world has evil and wickedness for me. As soon as I turn my back on this world, I'll knock you over the head and I'll try to drink your blood. And it'll take everything from you and you'll wake up with nothing. Everything you live in, that's right. So now my daughter is two weeks into treatments this cancer that the doctors have diagnosed her with. And they tell her she needs to be very careful where she goes and what she does, how she conducts herself, because her immunity dips when she has a chemotherapy. Right. And it goes this way, and then after a couple of days, it starts to dip and dip, and it gets to its lowest point. So today, the doctors have told her, today, your immunity, your body's ability to resist sickness is at its lowest point. So I asked her yesterday if she wanted to come to church. And she said, yes, but. She has been told, and I'm not coming against doctors, and I'm not coming against anybody who repeats what they have to say. There are things in the knowledge that I have, and this is an arrogance on my part, it's simply truth. And so I can say this, not an arrogance, but in truth. I know something that the doctors don't know. I don't need to know what they think they've learned. I only need to know what God has shown me. That is so So true. I said, Christina, Amen. if you want to come to church, then you come to church. Don't lean on your own understanding. Hallelujah. Lean on the Lord, Hallelujah. and he will make clear all of your paths. Yeah. Because we don't walk by sight. We walk by faith. And what is faith? Faith is a shield. That means you can pick up your faith, and you can walk just like this, and the world will sling arrows against you. And yet you can continue to walk. Amen. And you can walk Amen. forward with that shield, the faith, yes. and you speak it. And that's so what. And that's how you apply it. And you walk forward, and the arrows will hit, but you walk. Because the shield is your faith. Amen. Amen. And so now, she's come to church today. I'm proud of her. Praise I'm going to tell you how the doctors have viewed this church. Well, this is the last place for her. Her immunity levels are low. And there's dirt and dust and filth in the air. And 100 people have been through here. A thousand people have sat on these chairs. And a million people have put their hands on the door. 
God says you come to my house and you'll be blessed. Amen. So now who am I going to listen to? And who have you decided to listen to today? He chose Jesus. You chose the word of God. Amen. You chose the word of Jesus. And you will be blessed. You Amen. are already blessed sitting here. Amen. And in that demonstration is a testimony to everybody who sits here. Yes. And everybody who watches on the internet. That God is faithful. God is loving. And God knows more for us and about us and what's good for us than what we do. Yes. But certainly yes. more yes. than what the world does. Amen. So you've walked out here in great faith. And in this, you will receive great blessing. Yes. Now, how dare any of us say, I can't go to church today, i got a soccer game. How dare any of us say, well, I had a fishing trip planned. That is a pile of dung yes. in the eyes of God. Yes. Understand this today. This isn't to whip anybody over the head. This is to whip all of us in the physical, in the spiritual shape. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Walk by this word. Yes. Walk yes. by this word. Walk by this word. Don't be injected with the fear of this world. The, the most innocence that this world could ever possibly claim, as filthy and sin-filled as it is, is ignorance. But don't walk Man, even that in that. Good. That is powerful. Walk in the promise and the truth of this word. God says it, I believe it. The woman with the issue of blood, for over a decade, she went to all of the healers throughout all the land. And she asked to be healed. Yes. She asked to be treated. And not a doctor and not a man of the word had anything for her. This woman was very sick and very ill. Her life blood was literally flowing out of her. Walking down a filthy street. She reached out and she touched the garb of Jesus that dragged on that same filthy street. Hallelujah. There were no doctors in there. There was no hand sanitizer. There was no sterile environment. Hello. There was faith. Hello. Hello. There was faith and it abounded. And in that faith, that woman had her healing. Jesus, Jesus. Not in the things of this world. Not in the promise of this world. Jesus. The only thing that this world has is death. God has faith. Amen. Christ has life everlasting. Amen. Today you've walked in that. Yes, and I want you to understand and look past the things of this world. Amen. The seats, the sanitizer, the handrails, what the doctors have to say the about you. Crowd. Listen to what God has to say. And in that you will prosper. He's touched the name of Jesus. And let everybody understand this. And I thank you, Lord, for it. And I praise you in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. 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 Amen.